all want your home, please reach out to us. Relying on numbers to spark recognition, a huge tri-state gathering becomes yet another venue to find a missing UC student. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Curtis Fuller. Brogan Dully's family and friends are working harder than ever to make sure everyone in the city sees his face. WLWT News 5's Tammy Mutasa live for us downtown at the Taste of Cincinnati, where they are trying to use the big crowd to bring him home safely. Tammy? Well, Curtis, there are a lot of people here at Taste of Cincinnati, which means it's the perfect avenue for volunteers to spread the word about Brogan Deli's disappearance. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Yeah, keep the post up. Days will turn into a week since Brogan Deli went missing. Taste of Cincinnati became another venue for family, friends, and Brogan swim students to bring him home. Every practice, we always hope and like try to stay positive and it's just getting harder and harder as the days go because there's nothing, no leads, no nothing. Volunteers set up this booth plastered with Brogan's smiling face. They try to give each passerby a flyer. It's possible he could be out here or someone here could have seen him. So this is a really, really important spot to be to just get the word out. Family members say tonight the clothes and cell phone volunteers found on East McMillan did not belong to Brogan. Having a coach is like having a family member. So we pretty much lost a family member of our team. And it's really awful. This surveillance video from East McMillan shows Brogan coming home from Clifton Heights with his friends. An hour later, he comes back on his own, apparently looking for his lost phone. After that, he disappears. We're really hopeful. We're all very positive. You know, no news is good news at this point, and we're, everyone's praying and just keeping a positive attitude. Even though no new leads have turned up, they're not losing hope. He is just such an awesome guy. Um, that's such an awesome coach, such an encouragement to everybody he encountered. It's really important that we all just stay focused on bringing Bourbon home. Now, volunteers plan on being here all weekend, passing out these flyers, hoping that somebody out there recognizes this young man's face. Reporting live from Fountain Square, Tammy Mutasa, WLWT News 5. All right, thanks a lot, Tammy. And if you know anything, call Crime Stoppers. That number is 352 3040. The reward for information is now up to $30,000. And remember, you can remain anonymous.